your shot too. Okay. You got Dr. Strange. You have Scott Eckens over here. You got Scott Eckens. Scott Eckens. Oh, Scott Eckens. Oh, Scott Eckens. Oh, Scott Eckens. Get under it. What's up, guys? I'm, I'm feeling the Scott Eckens. Right. Right. Guys, everybody feels here. He's been doing videos with uh, Juju Mufu. Uh, oh, yeah. Who else? What else have you been doing? Oh, you, you do a lot of choreography, martial arts, fight style. You train yep. martial arts. Uh, Absolutely. Fight um, scenes. Hitman style. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, what's it called again? Stuff. Wing Chun? Wing Chun. Wing Chun. It's what Bruce Lee did, yeah. 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 All the fancy yeah. names and stuff. You guys didn't know. I actually took martial arts, uh, yeah, I took one though. Right, uh, right. What, three years though? It's like three years. Still counts? You no. Know, well, how old are you? You kid? No, I was actually uh, high school, going to college. Oh, you're good then. Yeah, you uh, stuff. You know, actually, I forgot. I forgot my my uh, I get you jump. <laughs> my, 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 you know, we had to like do shit, you know. Yeah. Like boom, boom, turn. So we're about to do a workout for you guys that's pretty much translate into martial arts. Then we're gonna go through choreography Good. of a fight scene we're gonna to put together for you guys. Yeah. So for that, he's gonna be on his channel and uh, pretty much teach me the ins and outs. I mean, I wanna be an action you know, movie. And you get into acting anyways, too, right? You know, so. Yeah, get into acting. And um, so learning right now, pretty much uh, for both of us, uh, me as in the fighting and Jeff as in like the uh, filming. angles, filming angles and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty cool. We got something special for you guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you check out the channel now. Um, let's get started. Let's do it. I think I said this in um, either on my IG or on another YouTube video that you know, being a strength training, you know, athlete and stuff, it's like yeah, I um, I get very worried about doing too much stretching because you know when like those. Uh, and th there's times when I, I need to, and then times when it's just like, all right, depending on my goal at the time, but like um, stretching too much can, which is it's beneficial, it's good, but when it comes to heavy loads, sometimes it can really put you in a bad position because the stability around, sure. yeah. you know, certain muscles aren't there anymore. You have so much flexibility that that stability can stay there and be tight like you need it to be. Today we get limber. Oh yeah. I mean, I've had like a bunch of injuries and stuff, so. Fancy. Some sort of press motion, you can just hold a plank. There you go. I like to play with the range of motion like your shoulder warm-ups, man. Like this sort of planche, you can widen out so it's easier to balance. And then just kind of like move your center gravity forward. And it really gets your shoulders like, kind of play around with it. Beautiful push-ups, nice and slow. Whether it's choreography or any sort of like fight-based training, but you got like, uh, yeah, a lot of core action, right? You've been throwing out kicks and stuff, like you gotta be able to stabilize or what, you're falling over. Right. Right, so everything's gotta be really controlled and tight. And same thing with choreography. Um, we'll get into it later, but you wanna have that sort of snappy, tight feel to it and not be kind of like lazy with it. It's gotta be crisp. It's gotta be Boom. Is the thing. Is bow. Right, exactly. Bow. Bow. Yeah, it is, it is. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna like it. It's like a different side of fitness that um, is kind of unknown the whole fight end of things. And you mm. see it so much in movies, but it's kind of invisible. Like what goes into it, because yeah. of the camera angles and stuff, so. Yeah. Let's do some hanging stuff. Warm it up. Warm it up, all right, cool. So what I like is hanging, um, there's like progressions in all of these, right? So for first half, if you're not too like, uh, super strong, you want to test it out, just hanging, knee raises. And as you want to do it, you want to stop yourself from swinging. So you're actually going to be engaging your back a lot. Yeah. Kind of like, you know, so it's stabilizing with your arms too, so it looks like this. Now, if people do so it wrong, so you're reading to bring up that like lower back a little bit up. Yeah, exactly. Because okay, okay. if you don't, look what happens. You start going like, you start swinging. Yeah. So you want to? It's slower is better for this. And now watch how like controlled it is. Just like that. Feel it out. It's kind of like it's such a strength-based move. It can drain you super fast. So try I don't know, two to five. See how you feel. So yeah, stabilize. Like, there you go. And you see it? It's the way down. Yeah. You see that negative man? Look at him working. 
It's all about the stabilization. So he's resisting. And like show him if you don't do that, watch how much you swing. He's resisting that. And yeah. you know. Especially with my weight. I was gonna say how much he weighs you. Why? He's got at least how many pounds on me? Because I'm like 165. 165, 230. Um, this is why it's so specific to body weight. So just kind of feel it out, see how you feel. Don't destroy yourself on the first set, it's also key. But um, the next progression is you can go a little bit, uh, get a little more into it, is you keep your legs straight, locked out, toes pointed. And you go about halfway. Halfway? Yeah, and now the same thing. If I don't focus, look what's happening. You get into that CrossFit stuff. You know, it starts swinging around. Oh, shot fire. No hate on CrossFit. <laughs> so yeah, see control. So you need straight. Just focus on like stability. Perfect. As you see, it starts to get hard right here. And you'd be surprised, man, how much this works your back. Also, man, rear delts are gonna get lit up. Cause look what he's doing. He's pushing against the bar. For as much as I can do. Like that, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, so he's pretty much like doing this against the bar to stop from swinging. It's, it's really crazy stuff. And I like this cause the simplicity, man. All this gymnastics based stuff, it's just, you're just, you're just hanging on a bar, moving your legs. And uh, I think a lot of people are used to it, like, being flashy and crazy to get a good workout, but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, y'all know with gymnastics, well, not gymnastics, with uh, uh, Olympic lifting. Oh, yeah. I'll be, I'll be looking. Like, I'm, no, I know that I'm strong, but like, when certain moves just kick my ass. You know, yeah, I'm like, exactly. You know. That's the thing, I mean, it's, it's the stuff that's not glamorous that gets you to that high level. Like, you know what I mean? He's not always just doing like cool, flashy deadlifts and backflips. You know, like, it's all that stuff in between, all the mobility work that's like getting to the high level of athletics, not just like, I, I look pretty good. You know, and that's your angle too, is athletics, not just like the bodybuilder, right? Yeah. Next, this next one is, is very high level difficulty. Um, if you can't do it, just work back to the progression, right? So if you can't right. do the first one, even if you can't do that first one, if it's too daunting for you, just is anything you can, like that is fine. You don't have to go here, okay. right? So it's all about progression to the gymnastics thing. So the next one is, it's pretty tough. So if you can do it, all about the stabilization. Um, the CrossFit way, again, is to keep knees bent, and it's called a like toaster bar. Okay. So you've probably seen them in here, you just toast yeah. the bar. But the gymnastic version is just absolute stability. Check this out. Boom. I can do that. Now again, it's the negative. Yeah. Right, because watch if I just go. <laughs> right, you just swing like a lunatic. You gotta find that rhythm again. Right, so man, you, you do it nice and slow. There you go, yep. Now notice like the first move, you did the same thing with your torso, you went like that. Mm. So you can't actually stay like straight down. Your, your feet go here, so you have to lean forward a little bit and you get into that, just push on the mm. bar. So it kind of feels, do you agree? It kind of feels like you're pushing against the bar. Yeah. So what I have to do to, in order for me to like to even get in that position is when I grab the bar, I have to like tuck in my pelvis first yeah. before I do anything. Good point. Usually my back is like art, always art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I walk around like this, blah, blah, blah. Right, right, right. And that's the funny thing about gymnastics. A lot of it's, it's called hollow position. It's, it pretty much it feels like you're flexing like this. Mm -hmm. Like when your hands stand and everything, that's how you're holding it. It's that, and then the hands go up. Once you get the arch back, you get slot yeah. fainters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not sexy these moves, but dude, it's gonna make you so strong. And I'm pretty sure it'll carry over. I don't do too much power lifting or anything, but like, it's gotta carry over. It's strong, it's strong, it's strong course. Right. Yeah. Like, dude, gymnasts are insane. They can do that those random. That's fun. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you can grab like top tier gymnasts, you know? Yeah. They, they always got like big biceps and stuff. And all sure, dude. Holding the That's the thing. Why do gymnasts have huge biceps? It's because, so this is the strongest point of the bicep, right? We agree on that? So this is the weakest point of the bicep, what we're about to do, and you're flexing it like full power, full body tension at the weakest point, mm -hmm. not flexed. So their muscles, their biceps get insane development at the weakest point. So if they ever do this, it's just like, <laughs> yeah, these, these next ones are, again, it's not sexy, it's not really fancy, but how about this? I'll do a front lever rep first, and then we'll break it down. Similar to what we were doing before, but watch my upper body now. You know how I said you're gonna start to tilt back? Watch what happens here. So you just go full power, like, That's hard. It's really hard. But just forget. The first one you do is you actually roll up and do a ball. This, and then the first progression is actually here. Now notice my arms are straight. And then you want to get to about there. For the second progression. And then from there you go. This. This. 
And then the final is you just you just pull it straight. So um, the things to keep in mind is you've already got it, is pushing that bar away. Staying hollow. Right, you'll notice I wasn't like that. And you want to actually think about your back a lot in kind of like this. It's almost like bench, right? Bench press. Kind of keep your shoulder blades back. Yeah. Like, give it a try. Give it a progression a try. There you go. Lower your leg. Good, good, good. Ugh. It's tough, right? <laughs> it's, it's I do that as part of my chest workout, actually. I go, I start out with flat bench, incline. My third move is this. Because, dude, you'll start to feel it if you're already pumped, too. It lights up your entire arms. You get everything in here. It's already. Yeah, you're starting to feel it. And my biceps. My biceps. My, my <laughs> shoulders. My mid chest. Now. I guess because of that squeeze. Yeah. Get some back to squeeze. Totally. Plus the thing is like, look at how much bigger Toronto is. So like, you know, this for him is very different than it is for me. Like, you got a lot more muscle mass. Like squeeze into a uh, shoulder parallel movement, right? So. Yeah. Try a lower rep where you just. You got it. Yeah. There you go, there you go. That's as much as I can do. That's as much as I can do. Good stuff, I'll do one more. Yeah, it's, it destroys me. No, my body's so heavy, fuck. Yeah, dude, that's super impressive if you can do that. It's tough, man. There you go, nice and hollow. There you go. Fuck, yo, my head. <laughs> my face is like so much pressure. Yeah, you, you feel the blood good? Yeah. Oh my god. So yeah, high level stuff. Um, also, like disclaimer, don't try hopping into the last progression first. Like, humble yourself for a second. All right, I'm gonna try this, do the progressions, and what you, a general rule of thumb is, like once you can hold each progression, like 30 to 60 seconds, you're gonna be max effort, 30 to 60 seconds, then you'll be, okay, I'll, I'll lower 30 to 60 seconds hanging? For the first one, yeah. The Hell first yeah. one on the ball. Cause now when I do my reps, I usually go into that like second or third one, with like one leg out, and I'll switch it back and forth for like a minute, and dude, you destroy. <laughs> I just do like, I hold it for a minute. Yeah, that's the goal. That's the goal, right? Because <laughs> yeah, once you're at 30 seconds to a minute on the second progression, you can go like five to 10 seconds on the next one, on the third one, right? Yeah, that's it, right there. Okay, you want to hold that? Bro, I can't even hold that. <laughs> oh, it's, it's gonna, the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, exactly. Once I stick the leg out, it's done. No, no, it's not. It's super high level. And then of course, you know, like planche is the exact same thing. It actually works the same muscles, but that's a whole level of uh, higher difficulty, planche, where you just, it puts up position with nothing on the ground. We're not doing this. <laughs> There's uh, muscle ups. So if you guys don't know, you'll notice it's like a huge kinetic chain. Like you start at the bottom almost here, and you go at this angle and you go pretty much transition into a dip. Most of these moves work like everything. Yeah. You know we're not over here like doing all these stuff because again, choreography, fighting, whatever it is, I mean, to throw out a kick, like, it's engaging everything, man. Because, like, even with your arms, you're pulling in for that momentum with a kick. You know, it's not just, like, <laughs> it's not just hip flexor or whatever. So. We're all used to, like, the weight shit, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people want to do more bodily stuff. Something that everybody can do. Because a lot of times you guys think that just because I do heavy weights means you can't do the workout. And I don't understand that, you know? Yeah, it's not going to, like, stop you. No yeah, like, you, you can still yeah. do the rep, you know, rep range. Totally. Or around the percentage, you know what I'm saying, of, of what I'm doing for yourself. You yeah. don't have any, but the, my thing is not to get you to do the exact same weight I'm doing. Right. right? It's, it's about the percentage of what you can do for yourself, you know, in the same manner as I do for myself, because everybody's strength is different, so. Right. And similarly, like, if he took me through one of his, like, athletic only workout, it's not going to, like, ruin my martial arts. It's probably going to make my martial arts better, actually. So I agree with, like, mixing it up all the time. Yeah. Don't just like stick to one thing every day if it works. Like, don't get discouraged either. You know, why can we get yeah. discouraged? It's just some stuff we can't do. Like, everything has to be worked on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right. All right, what do we got next? So, I'll do something once in a while where it's like bench with dumbbells. Not to failure, but so you're like, you're working, and then you switch to twist press. And then after that, you drop the weights, you jump down off the bench, push ups. So, it's like a three tiered, just chest annihilation. Oh, you can go first. You want me to do it? <laughs> So for this, you do not want to choose a huge weight. Um, again, this isn't like an ego thing, especially for your first time, pick something where you can crank out a decent number of reps. Let's say like eight to 10 for now. We'll see what happens. So it's going to be flat bench to twist press to push ups on the ground. You want to do that as fast as possible in between. So let me pick a good weight here. So I'm going to go 30s to start. And then again, don't do this to failure because you want to make sure you're safe. 
especially like dropping these and jumping. So don't be reckless with this. What do you think? Elbows. I, I like to keep my elbows a little bit tighter. Like this? Yeah. Okay. I don't really like... Um, but you're, you're okay with playing out a little bit with the mm -hmm. hands? Are you okay with the hands rotating? Or do you try to keep it like that? I can keep it like that. Just boom, boom, boom. Okay. If I'm rotating, that's for a different reason. Gotcha, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of... To keep myself from hurting my shoulders, you know, being all the way out here with that 90 degrees, right. uh, elbows flared out, you know, you're putting a lot of strain on that, that front delt, you know right. what I'm saying? So I like to bring those elbows in, use a little bit more of that mid-back, have that, have that tension on the back and then start to the press from that. That feels good. And then this is twist press. I don't know if you have tips for this too. So you, you twist all the way around. Yep, awesome. and okay. if it's a range of motion issue, like you can do this too. You know, whatever you're comfortable with, guys. Yeah. I wouldn't go beyond that though, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it feels like I'm gonna drop it on my head. Yeah, so we switch to twist press. And again, it's lightweight, guys. So you can be a little bit more explosive. And then we throw him down. He comes straight down. Just feel it, and again, make sure on that last push-ups that like you're working. You know, if you did it and you're like cranking them out easy, like go go with the higher weight. Okay, there you go. There you go. Once you start to feel it, switch that to switch press. There he goes. There he goes. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, notice guys, like he's got a good pace. It's not. You can't be reckless with twist, but you can't be you know shooting out like that because you don't want to drop the weights. And then right when you're starting to really burn, you're ready to drop that thing. Come on, let's go. There you go. Jump right down. Come on. Get down there. There it is. There it is. There it is. Good. Good. Ugh. It sucks. It sucks, but you got this, man. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, it's 10 reps I can do. <laughs> so as you see, we've actually worked quite a bit on the body so far. Um, core, but I mean, all that stuff is like shoulders, biceps, on the hanging. So from here, you can do that at your discretion. You can either, like, if you're, if you have injuries that you're dealing with, or you're not, like, Used to doing bench, I would go lower weight and then do more push ups. Do you agree with that, right? Yeah. If you got some shoulder issues, like just. Yeah. Keep everything tight as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so now we can move on to lower body. We can do circuits. Line drills? Now? Yeah, why not? Alright, cool. For me, the lat raises really help. Um, I like to do these two guys, especially before we're gonna be throwing out some punches or anything where you're like moving a little bit explosively. I like to just move, uh, warm up my shoulders and I like to put that little bit of a twist on it when I move up. Just a couple reps. All right, so we're gonna move into a little bit more of the martial arts realm, like line drills. And for this, you want to make sure you're warmed up, and you can either use a partner or a pole like that or whatever. But for the first one, we're gonna do three uh, three types of movement. I got this from like the Juji side of things. Um, and Juji loves these moves. So we're gonna do two ranges of motion: front, side, and back. So at the first, you're just gonna focus on touching your hand. And guys, don't worry if you're not flexible; that could be here. You just want to try and touch your hand. So yeah, for now. Do like five to ten each foot. We're warming up so then we can be a little bit more explosive without blowing out our hamstring. Uh, more arch this time. So a little bit more open like that. Being right handed. The second one, we're just gonna do side raises like that. Five to ten on each side. Now the third one is back. So there's two ways to do this. You kind of focus on like an arc, arch like this. Back. So what? This one. And you want to try and keep more upright when you do it. Focus on going up like that, or like this, like straight back. Either one's good. You're gonna be lighting up your uh, your lumbar spine, direct your spine is to that. So. And again, if you've never done this, guys, don't just shoot it out like a lunatic. Start slow, right? And then after you warm those up. We can get into more like a little bit more explosive territory as you would in like a martial arts training in a school. So this is perfect. You can kind of just walk like either pick a pick a distance and if you're in like a Shaolin school it would be in line. So like Tehran goes behind me. For this it's the uh, progression of the first one. And then bring that a little bit higher. Same thing? Yeah. There you go. So then you can do this a number of ways. You can just put your hand out in Shaolin do stuff where it's like up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, the next one, of course, is you put a little outward crescent on it. So same sort of thing where you go. You just kind of bring it out that little bit. So guys, if you're not used to doing this sort of thing, you can just like, that's fine. You can kind of just walk. But, again, it's, you'll start to feel like your hip flexor a lot as it warms up. There you go. I didn't touch it. It's all right, it's all right. 
you want to try and get as parallel to the ground as you can, and try not to have your knees like collapse. You want to have them out. And then you can either like step as you punch. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you want to punch and move at the same time. Yeah, kind of like explode with it. It's kind of like like that. Yeah, there you go. Great. And if it's too hard, kind of think of it as like lunges, guys. Like really deep lunges. Yeah, there you go. And you'll start to feel it like inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So guys, if that's too hard too, just focus on like deep lunges. A little bit more like yoga style though. You know, not like so, um, like walking lunges, more like this, like this. So if you guys have ever done yoga, you know, stuff like this. All right, so guys, burpee, punch. Um, honestly, if you have like a boxing background, more time, you can do this with any punch. So if it's around, he's gonna put his hand up. I'm gonna take it more of the Wing Chun realm. Where if uh, a little chain punch action, if you guys have seen like Yipan and stuff. So you could do like three, you can do it nice and slow like this if you've never done it. Um, or you can do like a little flurry like that. One, two, three. <laughs> Good! Total five? Yeah. <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> it's probably like eight to ten. Be careful as you start to get winded. Don't get sloppy and just yeah. kick your partner, so. You could really spice it up and do a kick, backflip, punch, punch, punch. <laughs> we'll probably die though. It's the... For this exercise, I'm gonna teach you around how to do the chain punch. You're probably familiar with the really famous chain punch. It looks a little something like this. It's throwing out a punch, nice and slow. You're gonna cut right through that punch, yeah, whichever one, like that, and then chain punch. Right to the face. Now, it's all about efficiency. So, you know, in a situation where you screw up, you would have to like, you know, block and then do it. But if you're super high level, you just cut right in. Like a knife, man. You just slice that thing. Just like that. So, we're gonna teach Toronto how to do it. So, I've taught Juju before, Juju Mufu. He's a big dude too, and he did it. So, how we're gonna do Toronto is like this. Put your hand like this. Don't worry about the stance for now. And you're gonna just relax your left hand like this. Watch me. Relax, yep, right to the center like that. Now, watch me first and I'll walk you through it. You're gonna slide your hand forward as if there's a tabletop right there. Good, yeah, nice and flat. And now for this, I know it's a little weird, picture hitting with like these knuckles. So, now what you're gonna do is, once you slide that out, you're gonna bring the other one right here, relax it the same way, and then pretend that you're gonna punch the same exact Place. Now watch me guys, same exact place. I'm here, I'm not doing this. This is what everybody thinks when they watch the movies, that it's like this, like a boxing drill. It's not. I'm actually punching the same exact place, but this one drops just enough. And when it drops, I pull it back. So anyway, let's try it again together. Goes forward. Other one's here, drop it, goes forward. Nice. Just like that. And now notice, you want this hand at the same exact time, back. When people screw up, they go like this, they're like, you gotta keep it. Because another reason is, this is my defense, right? Like in boxing, you don't wanna just be like, in boxing, you get destroyed. So with Tehran, he's doing the chain punch. Right, so he's got that hand back there. So if I was trying to be sneaky or whatever, he could block. All right, so make sure, there you go, yeah. <laughs> So make sure the hand comes back. And then as you get better, you'll notice like I almost slide on it. It's so close, dude. I'm making contact, it's so close. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just cutting straight in. Cuts right through, yeah, that's it. And then from there, you would keep trying to notice what happens. If you do it right, my arm's like caught. Yeah. So the same thing with that one, trying to slide it up. Going, so, right across the arm? So yeah, yeah, so we'll do it slow, but you know, it's here, it's here. Nice. Oh, it's like, oh. Good. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, uh, I think I did like eight ish reps. Good. Perfect, perfect. And, guys, notice you want to do this really controlled. You don't want to be throwing it out like a lunatic. And the cool thing about this is, um, like in a real fight, you're going to be tired, you're going to be out of breath, and it's still getting you to focus. Focus on hitting that target, so it's pretty good. That was a lot. <laughs> I lost count. All right, guys.
before I get too tired out. <laughs> now we're going to our choreography for our fighting scene, which will be uh, later today, or actually not tomorrow, right? We're gonna do a fight scene tomorrow. Whichever we can fit it, yeah. I think, I, think I, gotta, I gotta shoot somebody today. But anyways, um, if you wanna catch the choreography fight, how it teaches me, um, for those who wanna be martial art, like get into stunt, I mean, stunt man do the, yeah, not, for not, sure. Not, not, I mean, not stuff, martial arts, acting, stuff, anything. Yeah. Act, action, acting. If regardless. you just find this stuff interesting, you like martial arts movies, yeah, The Matrix yeah. and stuff, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, every, all the options. Like, everybody likes more action <laughs> movies, all right? Yeah, yeah. So if you want to learn, drop please by, man. drop by the channel. We'll be doing it on his channel, and also uh, we'll be revealing the final something showdown. Epic, yeah. <laughs> you know, something epic uh, that I've been kind of writing. Yeah, up, we'll so. reveal what uh, what he's learned here. <laughs> Look forward to it. So let's get it, man. Make sure y'all head over right now and uh, catch you guys later. Thanks, guys. Some fun ideas for you. See ya. Oh, shit. When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.